this demonstration we're going to look at installing the Office Online Server. The purpose of the Office Online Server is to provide file viewing and editing for Microsoft Office documents. It integrates in with Exchange Server and SharePoint Server and it's used by Outlook on the web or OWA. Scenarios for using this are if we have home computers without Microsoft Office or if we're on a public computer without downloading the document or if we're mo using mobile devices on the road. So the Office Online Server will allow us to read the documents and edit the documents and then save those documents off. What I've done is I've come to a server called lon-oos. I've already set up the certificates for the server, so we're going to be using HTTPS at some point. So the next thing to do is to actually install the prerequisite software to allow us to then install the Office Online Server. First thing we're going to do is just launch up Server Manager. So I'll click our Start button, come into Server Manager. Once we get Server Manager up and running, what we're going to do is we're then going to select the actual prerequisite roles that we require for the Office Online Server. Now we're in Server Manager, we'll just add roles and features. Within our add roles and features, all we're going to do is select the Next button. Then what we're going to go for is role-based or feature-based installation and select Next. Destination Server will be our LON OOS server and select Next. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our web server, IIS, we'll just expand up the triangle. Then what we'll do is we'll look down here and what we'll do is we'll then just come in and we'll just specify web server. And then within web server we're just going to scroll this down. And we're just looking for application development. So we'll expand up application development. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go for some of the settings within here. So we're going to go for server side includes. Now we've selected server side includes, we'll select our next button. On the select features, we're happy with the default features and select next. Read through confirmation, we're happy with everything in confirmation, so we'll select install. And this will now install the required components to allow us to then install the Office Online Server. At this point here, we'll just pause the presentation and return back once this feature installation is complete. Installation is now complete, so we can select the close button. So now we've installed the prerequisites. Next set of tasks to do is install and configure the Office Online Server. So what we'll do is we'll just minimize down Server Manager. We'll just come into File Explorer. Now what we've done is we've already mounted the ISO file required for installing the Office Online Server. So all we're going to do is come to setup.exe. And with most Microsoft products, we'll just have a quick read through that license agreement. We're happy with everything in the license agreement. So we'll tick the tick box and then we'll select our continue button going to ask me for a file location. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to install it wherever it defaults to and select install now. And this is now going to install the Microsoft Office Online Server. We're not going to sit and watch this bar move across the screen. So again, what we'll do is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete. Office Server is now installed, so we can select our close button. And then the next thing to do is to just set up the URLs and the certificate that will be used by Office Online Server. So we're going to do that through PowerShell. We'll just come in and we'll just launch up PowerShell. Then within PowerShell, all we need to do is we just need to issue the commandlet. So what we'll do just before we do that is we'll just make this a little bit easier to read by making the font a little bit bigger. And we'll select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll then insert the commandlet. So we'll clear off the screen to make it a little bit easier to read. And the command that we're going to use is new hyphen office web apps form hyphen internal URL will be the internal URL, so HTTPS LON OS .com. still URL, if we have a look, well the same, and the certificate name will be the OOS certificate, and the next thing to do is just hit the enter key. The script's run through, so as we can see, all the settings are now in place, so the next thing to do is to come in and configure our Exchange Server for Office Online Server, so we'll move across to our Exchange Server, we just verify everything's working through Internet Explorer. And all we'll do is go to the URL of the Office Online Server. And we'll do that by going to https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen oos dot com forward slash hosting forward slash discovery. Hit the enter key. Have a quick look through the XML file. Everything appears to be okay, so we can close that down. Next thing to do is just launch up the Microsoft Exchange Management Shell. So we'll do that by clicking our Start button. We'll just look for our Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 and we'll just launch up the Exchange Management Shell. 
Now it's launched. The next thing to do at this point here is we're just going to come in and we're just going to issue the PowerShell command lift that will allow us to connect the two systems together. So we'll just make the font a little bit bigger. Just make it a little bit easier to read. So what we'll do is we'll make it 24. Select OK. Just clear the screen off. And we'll just issue the command lift. And we'll do that by running the set hyphen organization config space hyphen WAC discovery endpoint. So WAC being our web application server. And that would be https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen oos dot datum dot com forward slash hosting forward slash discovery. That's then run. So the last thing to do is just to do an IIS reset. That's now all done. So the next thing to do is just verify that this has indeed worked. And we'll do that by moving over to our client PC. Now on our client machine, we've logged in as Dora. And what we're going to do is we're just going to send a new email message to our administrator. And what we'll do is we'll attach a Word document. Just attach our Word document. Now we've done that, we'll just add the subject. And what we'll do is um, we'll add a subject, please review. Now what we'll do is we'll click on the send button, send the email message off, and then what we'll do is we'll come out of OWA as Dora and we'll log back in as administrator. And then what we'll do is we'll just review that document. So we're now going to log in as administrator. Message now come through from Dora, so let's click on the message. And on the message, what we should find is we should find we have a Word document. So let's click on the drop down. And all we're going to do on the drop down is we'll click our preview button. And what we should see is we should see this pulling this into Word Online. So we can see it's Word Online. We can see this is our saved document. We can see it's the test file. And that's the end of this demonstration of installing Office Online Server. Thank you.